Yes, Vivan. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. So how was your weekend? It's good. Shall I screen share so that I can show you the work? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's about 20 minutes left. Sorry? Oh, about 20 minutes left. Still, we're in only hosts can share the screen. Just a second, sorry. Okay, you're already working on this mock test, right? Yeah. Fine. So let's read the question. Can you read the question for me? I think we, no, three bags of chips. There are four bags. Four bags of chips. Mm -hmm. Are put into bills that hold a one six per bag each. Mm -hmm. Six full bills were each, and how many bags of chips are left? Yes, four bags of chips put in bowls. Each bowl. How did you come to that conclusion? I need an explanation how you come to a conclusion. We want. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, how did you come to that? We cannot move back anyway. This question, okay. Give me an explanation then. I, just thought I, knew, the, I knew the answer like a five minutes ago. Yeah, just that I went to the toilet. You need to share with me now. <laughs> or else I don't come to now how you came to that conclusion that's more important to understand how you come to a conclusion isn't it okay now next question fill in the gaps by selecting the correct options below there is one tenth one of tenth and six of hundred in 0 0.16 because one by ten and six by hundred you understand that very easily so there are dash of hundreds hundredth in 0 0.16 Yes, sixteen is answer. Okay. Is one. Mm -hmm. We count the rounds. Okay. Fine. Each cube has a volume mm -hmm. of two cubic centimeters. What is the volume of the following cuboid? Um. How do you calculate the volume of a cuboid? What's the formula? I'm just calculating one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are eight on one side. Mm -hmm. Eight. So eight. Eight. How, yeah. how come eight? We have three things when we calculate volume. We need the length, breadth, height. So that three things are already marked over here. They're asking for the volume. Yeah. And then they say that each each cube, that is a small one, has a volume of two cubic centimeters. And it's going to be eight because I'm going to time, like, times them at the end. Times it by two at the end. Anyway. So the uh, volume of the cuboid? So eight times one, two, three, four, five. So eight times ten, eighty. Practically, how many cubes are used to create this cuboid? How many cubes are used to create? Yeah, it's marked. See, when you look at the figure, it's marked clearly. Each small one shows a cube, and the bigger figure is a cuboid. Right? Now, each small 
क्यूब हैज अ वॉल्यूम द वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ स्मॉल क्यूब इज ऑलरेडी गिवन ओवर दैट टू क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर्स नाउ एन इजी वे इज टू सी हाउ मेनी क्यूब्स ऑक्यूपाई टू मेक दिस क्यूबॉइड यस राइट ओके नाउ वी हैव टू डिफरेंट लेयर्स लेट्स कंसीडर देयर आर टू डिफरेंट लेयर्स सो द टॉप लेयर हाउ मेनी क्यूब्स यू आर हैविंग सेम नंबर ऑफ क्यूब्स यू वुड बी हैविंग इन द बॉटम लेयर यस so if you know how many cubes are there in the top layer you multiply that by 2 to find the vol total volume of this cuboid okay because the volume of each cube is given now if the volume of the cube would not be given then we simply calculate the length into breadth into height to get its volume but here we have the convenience the volume of each cube is given over here so let's see how many cubes are used 1 2 3 Four, five. That's five by one, two, three, and four. So, total, how many cubes are used over here? Forty. Okay, and each one has a volume of two. So it should be eighty. The answer. Yes. Now, we before we move move to the next question. How you gave me a conclusion of eight? Sorry, for some reason it just. Anna. Anyway, I'll give the conclusion anyway. Yeah, how you came to that conclusion? Eight. It should be eight. Wait, is answer correct though? Now, how you came to the conclusion eight? You told me eight first. That's what I'm asking. How you came to that conclusion? I did the way that you told me. Okay. Fine. Now, next question. The image shows a blueprint for a back garden of a house. Here, each part is marked. What is the total area of the back garden? Now, it's not regular. It's not a regular figure because it does not have a fixed length and width. So, we have a irregular figure over here, but we need to calculate its. area how do you usually calculate now if, if i give you a rectangle or a square how would you calculate its area i think i know how to okay. yeah that's calculate okay. this one. this one okay. just chop it into tiny pieces okay that's good chop it into tiny pieces that's the first step Then, so one Times one meter is one meter. Mm -hmm. We cannot use the annotation tool over here. That's one of the main drawbacks, I think. Okay. Then one by one, fine. That's for the first one. There, that measures one meter by one meter. Then the smaller, second smaller one, that is two by one meter at the extreme right. Yeah, two by one would be two. Okay. Now keep this in mind. The first one is one. Second one is two square meters. Then now we are left with the center rectangle. How much does it measure? Six times four. Six times four. Okay. Four. Okay. Twenty-four. So what would be the total area? Total area of this back garden? Add all those numbers together, which will give the conclusion of twenty-seven. Okay, fine. So, now here it's not a regular. Last time you remember, I told you, if it is fifty percent and above, we consider it as one. First thing is always count the squares that are completely occupied. And then go for the ones that are fifty percent. Two or fifty percent would make one. The one that is less, like for example, the square on the extreme left, that small, teeny, mini piece that is covered, that cannot be considered as one because it practically it is not. You mix, you add up two of such squares, also you don't get one. So we use a logic. Okay, two fifty percent we add, we get one. And something. So let's say mm -hmm. this is one. This is one. This is one. This is one. Mm -hmm. 
This is one, this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. So let's count then. How much? So this is one. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. Nine. And these two half can make one ten, isn't it? Yeah. So that's ten millimeters squared. No, but all of them are actually in centimeters. So how is this millimeters? Yes. The answer has to be in centimeter. Is there a way to get one more? And it clearly says ignore squares that are under half full. Something less than 50% yeah, one, this one counts as one. This counts as a half because yeah. you can't fit any yeah. one else. So it will be 10 and a half centimeters squared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, ten. And you say 10. No, and a half. You're yeah, supposed to take either. Uh, uh, it's 10 and a half. The last one you're taking half. Yeah. Okay. So next. Two thousand millimeters in, in kilometers. kilometers. How much? Two thousand millimeters. Wait. Two thousand millimeters is equal to how many meters? Zero point zero two kilometers. How much? Zero point zero zero two. Point zero zero two. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. If uh, you were frozen, that's why I wasn't moving. Area of the given shape in millimeters. Everything is marked in millimeters, so we don't need to convert out here. But we need the area. We can still use the same logic. We split it and we add it. It can form two rectangles easily, right? Yeah. So the bigger rectangle would have how much? It's clearly marked six millimeters and 23. So this tiny block over here would be 30. Sorry? 30 millimeters. That is 13. This Total is 13. So if we are splitting into two, two rectangles, that is 13 yeah. minus 6. Its length will be 13 minus 6 because the top one is 6. No, it should be 30. No, it should just be 6. Not 13. 13 minus 6. Which one are you talking of? The one on the left? Or uh, the can one you see my cursor? Yeah, I can see your cursor. So just this. Yes, that is six. That is already marked on the top. Yes, yeah, so this in total is going to be 30. 30. And this time, so it should be 13 times six. Uh, six times 13, which is going to be 78. So 30 times 78 would be 108. Then six times 12 is going to be. 180 times seven. So your answer is going to be 180 millimeters squared. Right? If that's right, okay. A bus time. Yes, read it. For five buses throughout the day is given. Mm -hmm. Tony lived five minutes away from the bus stop at Orneville. He must arrive at Durham by 1.45. Can I say 1.45 instead of that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Even no though it just said it's easier because I don't really say, you know, the 24-hour clock. Mm -hmm. so what is the latest time Tony can leave his house? 
He just stays um, five minutes away, and he needs to. Latest time. So the latest time. Oh, he needs to reach by thirteen forty-five. Yes. So the yeah. latest time he should leave his home is three fourteen. I mean one fourteen. If he leaves his home one fourteen. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he reaches. So, oh yeah, sorry. I thought he was in Warren. Uh, I thought nah. he was in Ashford. He's so supposed to reach Durham. You need to keep in mind. He needs to arrive at Durham at one forty-five. So one forty-five. So. So he needs to go at one twenty-one. One. 21. He needs to leave his house at 121 because okay. the run because the walk is five minutes. So you subtract one twenty uh, twenty-nine subtracted by subtracted by five, which would be um uh, yeah, one twenty-one. Into the flick of it. A table below shows the admission fee and the term fee of some universities that Rashmi has chosen for the engineering degrees. Different universities, one time fee and fee per term, two different things. Rashmi plans to study at the university which charges the lowest total fee. Which university will charge the least for her eight terms of study? One time fee is applicable to be paid once. Eight term fees. You are supposed to consider this fee per the term. The answer time. is mm -hmm. University of the North. Okay. And how do you come to that conclusion? Oh, I will tell you how I came to conclusion. Sorry? So, so you can understand that I am a computer. So what I did in my head I added all those numbers up, starting from Gotham University and ignoring Falcon City University, because that's all obviously going to be the most expensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, no matter what we do, because it has. So it's University of the North, because you don't need to times the fee per term mm -hmm. by eight. You're just going to waste your time. Mm -hmm. Because anyway, when you get it, you'll still get University of the North, which is just like a simplified version of it divided divide by eight. Like, let's say um, the actual number is six, but then you like you you don't you don't want to do it easily. Then you do six times eight. So then it'll be um, forty-eight. But you'll still get 48. It's not like you're losing anything. So answer to this question is from Rolls University of the North. Okay. Fine. Next. And if it's not, then I'm going to be so angry and I will tell Atom how you guys are stupid. Not you, but Atom. Okay. I'll have okay. revenge on Atom one day by making molecules. <laughs> yes. Uh, your side is uh, freezing. I think your network is freezing. You're having slow network issues. Click next. But do remember. Your voice is breaking. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. Hello? Yeah. Uh, now your video is... Can, is it yeah, now it's fine. Okay. See, your side is saying uh, we're having trouble saving answers. Where is okay. And the table below shows the time people spend daily using their phone. And how much of that time is spent on conversing? Uh, network issue, I think. 
Can you hear me? Yes, now I can yeah. hear you. Um, yes, I was just saying, can you remember that for question 22, I did University of the North. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Here, next question. Time people spend daily using their phone and how much of that time is spent on conversation? So total time spent and total time spent on conversation are two different things. Yes. Okay. Still, the question should be below. How many hours can Rina save in a month? You need to scroll up. Can save in a month if she uses her phone just for conversation? Assume that there are 30 days in a month. Now let's see Rina. She spends 70 minutes total conversation. Total time spent using the phone is 250 minutes for her. But the question says how many hours can Rina save in a month? If she uses her phone just for conversation, that is only 70 minutes per day. A month for so she can day. save 180 hours. 180 hours she can save. 180 hours. Okay, how do you come to that conclusion? 70 subtracted by 20. 250 is 180. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 70. So his answer 180. Yeah, it's 180. Okay. For 180. 180 hours. You came to that conclusion by subtracting 250 minutes and 70 minutes. Yeah. Okay, but the table is given for that is in one thing. It's in minutes. So it has the time that she saves obviously is in minutes. One thing. Oh. And second thing, it's a data that is for daily. We need for monthly 30 days in a month. Oh. Read the question very carefully before you come to a conclusion. So 180 divided by 60 would be... 180 minutes, okay, is that she can save in a day. That would be three. Yeah. Three times three 30, hours. 90, hours in a 90 day. hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops, sorry. The thing uh, just where did logged it go? off. Where did it go? It's logged off. First time. Oh. Done. The needy Latin learning. Ow. Hey. There. Rakesh moved to India to US. Moved from India to USA <coughs> to study from for a master's degree in economics. Ah. The table below shows the number of hours Rakesh spends in the university and his job during the week. During the week. Thank you. So university, Rajesh, Sunday is two hours, four hours. University time is different. Job time is different. Rajesh. Yes, Rajesh. Uh, say Rajesh. Rajesh. Rajesh earns dollar ten per hour. He spends dollar one fifty each week. And he has to save dollar 150 each week to pay for his college fee how many yeah. more hours does he need to work in a week to have enough money that means every week how much he needs he spends 150 that he needs and he has to save 150 each week to pay to pay so for he... his college fee so um... that means he needs dollar 300 each week isn't it? Minimum. So, let me just say, see how many more hours he has to work. So, if he's so, working for four-hour job, he's earning only for the hours he's working. Dollar ten per hour. That means, how much is he earning on Sunday? How much on Monday? We calculate for the entire week how much he's earning. So, how many hours is he working? 
for an entire week. He does not need to work anymore. Like his job. His job hours are how much in a week? Um, so, 60, uh, 60 to 90 to 230 to 280 to 320. So, he's already at no, no, no. What you're adding, what you're adding, tell me. What are you adding? Job. Job. Okay. So, 5 plus 4? Oh, 9. 9 plus 4? 13. 13 plus 3? 16. 16 plus 6? Uh, 16, 16 plus 6, right? Right. Oh, 16 plus 6. Is twenty two. He's getting oh, ten dollar ten dollar per hour. So that is going to be two twenty dollars per week. But his requirement is three hundred dollars per week. You understand? His requirement is three hundred dollars per week. He's earning two twenty dollars per week because university hours you don't calculate as his earning hours. Yeah, because you have to spend for university. Two twenty is what he's earning and 300 is what he needs. So he's still running short of how much? Uh, just wait, sorry. Just give me a minute. I need to quickly do something. Six, nine, 18, so eight hours. Yes, eight hours, that means Okay, fine. Frankie in class 5C mm -hmm. is asking her classmates. I don't know why today your network is freezy. Your voice is uh, breaking in between. I don't know is why. Like you're frozen right now. Maybe it's your head because you're freezing. No, no, your voice is breaking in between. I don't know why. Hello. Uh, your Yes. Can you hear me, sir? No, no, no. It's breaking. Your network is lagging behind, I think, because the voice and video is cracking in between. You're not audible, V1. So you can hear. Uh, can you hear me? It's a bit frizzy. It's a bit freezy. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Yeah, you can hear me now, right? Yeah, but it's freezy. You logged out. Hello? Yeah, we won. Good. Your side okay. network is not slow. To, uh, your side network is a bit uh, slow today. Not using Wi Fi? 
I am on Wi-Fi. I just don't know what's happening. Ah, it's like a, a lot freezy today. So I got eighty percent. So I have twenty. Oh, I got one, two, three, four. Number ten. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Screen is. That's why I don't want to do the. Screen is freeze on. Number one. Sorry. Your network is lagging. Your network is freezing. Yeah. Can you scroll up and down? So, question three. So, uh, Ben is packing fruit baskets for a school trip. He has 12 oranges, 15 pears. He wants to pack them into fruit baskets that have the same number of oranges in each basket and the same number of pears in each basket. There should be no Fruit left over. What is what the is greatest, greatest number of identical number of fruit baskets that Ben can pack? Oh, I'm so stupid. It's four. I was like three times four is twelve. So there should be. Oh, then I said I thought like four in each basket and five in five you need, of pairs it was easy and to find, uh, oranges. It's CF. So now let's go to fill the, it's 13, I know this one, what I did wrong. Because I think somewhere over here, wait. Let me show you. Wait. It's somewhere, I can't remember, but the exact same question popped up and I got it wrong. Western University. University. How? Scroll okay, up, so scroll so up, just scroll up, scroll up. So I got it correct. You selected University of North. Oh, yeah. See, sometimes you need to do those calculations, isn't it? Sometimes you need to do those calculations. You multiply it. Now I'm going to be speaking to the head it. of I'm going to be speaking to the head of Atom. Why? <laughs> It, you see, 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 you multiply 8 times 5 and add 2,000 to that. You yes. multiply 9 times 8 and add 1,000 to that. 9 yeah. times 8 is how much? 9 times 8 70, is... That's going to be 7,200 7, plus 1,000. It's going to make 8,200. 5 times 8 is how much? 8 times 5? 40. Yeah. So it's going to be 4,000 plus 2,000 is still 6,000. That is much less than 8,200, isn't it? So sometimes that yeah. way of calculation, adding these two and uh, coming to the conclusion would not be the right thing because you have to focus on the fee. Multiply by the number of terms and then adding to one time fee. That is how it works. Okay, so if one time fee is lower, I mean, if the per term fee is lower and yeah. one time fee is not that comparatively high. So it, it does not mean that it is going to be uh, the most uh, correct answer just by adding. No, you need to calculate total fee. Uh, she will be paying for the total terms and then adding that one time fee. That is always the right method. Sometimes flukes may work, but every time flukes do not work, we won. Flukes work sometimes, isn't it? What are flukes? Flukes are guessworks. Okay. See, you play soccer. You play soccer, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now tell me one thing. Every time you kick from the same point, are you sure it's going to end up inside the goalpost? 
Yes. Are you so sure? Yes. Okay, so that should be I'm amazing. But then there are chances it may not, isn't it? It is always 50% probability. Probabilities are always 50%. Or like 99 to 1. Okay, so you're so good with soccer? Yep. Okay, so here also you have to be so accurate. Mathematics is not even a big the, um, Even if the goalpost was as big as this iPad, which is actually pretty big. Mm-hmm. Okay, someday, Even if it, if it was that big, I could have just scaled up the goalkeeper. Someday, I think I need, I should get an opportunity to see you playing. Yeah, you should. Okay, so how did you find today's mock test? Was it difficult for you? Was it easy? It was really difficult because Which part in the middle, it, yeah, in the middle of it, I needed to go to a number two. Mm -hmm. You know, a number two, right? So, and then I completely forgot which question I was like decimals of suck at. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, but my I would say my highest point is fractions. Wait, is it? No, it is uh space. Space is my highest. Space is the highest because okay. it is like, really high. Now space. let's let's come. Let's uh, just uh, be very transparent. Okay, first of what we are going to do is we are going to log out and log in back again. Because yes. we are left with one minute, we just log out and we log in back again, okay?